But I had a dream over the weekend, and I'll see how prophetic my dream is. I dream, I dreamt that this is not an I have the dream speech. I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't presume. But I did have a dream that Minnesota would be the first state in the nation to reject this kind of thing. We are facing the biggest test of our lives, but this test is none other than fighting for our very democracy, the very freedoms guaranteed in our Constitution that are there for all of us, there from the moment we appear on this earth. We find ourselves standing up here today at the Capitol, as Monica Meyer from out front likes to say, living lives of amazing vitality saying to our state legislators, we are part of the Minnesota family. I think that the faith community is here for the same reason that every single person is here this afternoon. We believe in love. And more than that, I don't believe that when you love someone, it takes away from me. Loving someone. In fact, it upholds it. It strengthens it. It girds it. I'm here this afternoon to stand with my wife, my congregation, my church, and my faith to stand in solidarity with people that marriage is a freedom. I am so thankful. That behind me stands a church and a faith that says that love is a value. It's a common value. That marriage is not for some people. That you can love someone and not hide it. You can love someone and stand with the same freedom, the same health care, the same power, the same solidarity. I encourage you to stand with your church and your faith stand in solidarity with all of the people, that if marriage is valued for some, it is valued for all.